Okay, so now we've nested a reusable live wire component inside another full page component. The next thing I'd like to show you is how we can pass props into that nested component. And props are a way to basically pass property values into another component so we can use them in that other component. And it's kind of similar to React or some other framework like that that uses props as well. So say for example, in this page header component, we want the subtitle right here to be dynamic or different for each page that we use it on. Well, what I could do is pass a prop called subtitle into the component and the value of that prop would be a string for whatever we want the subtitle to be. So let's do that. Let's come to the book list page where we nest the page header component and we're gonna pass a new prop into it. And we can do that by just adding the prop name to the tag, which I'm gonna call subtitle. And we can set it equal to a string value, which is gonna be, I don't know, here's a list of your books with a couple of dots at the end. So now this prop gets passed into the component and we can access it from within the component class. Before we do that though, just very quickly, I'm passing a string value into this component as the prop value. But if we wanted to bind a dynamic value to this, like a Boolean or something else, we'd have to add a colon before the prop name to say the value is dynamic and not just a string, okay? So now how do we access this prop value inside the component class? Well, let's open that class up and take a look. So in order to be able to accept a prop into a component, we need to understand a little bit about component lifecycle hooks, first of all. And lifecycle hooks are basically just functions which run at different stages of the component's lifecycle. So for example, there's a mount hook, which runs when the component is first created. There's an updated hook, which runs after the component properties get updated, or at least one of them get updated. There's a rendering hook, which gets called just before the render function runs, etc. There's more hooks as well, and you can find them all on the LiveWire documentation. The hook that we need to accept and access component props is the mount hook, which runs when the component first gets created. So we can tap into that hook by just creating a public function, which we call mount. That is the name of the hook and we automatically get access to any props we pass into the component as arguments inside this mount hook. So we passed in a prop called subtitle and therefore we get access to a subtitle argument inside this hook, which we can then use, all right? So what do we wanna do with this value? Well, what we could do is make a public property on this component called subtitle as well. And we don't have to initialize that with any specific value, but then inside the mount hook, we could say dollar sign this and then access the subtitle property we just created. And we could set it equal to whatever the value of the subtitle argument is. And now that subtitle property in the class will have the value of whatever we pass into this component as the prop value. In our case, that's going to be the string that we passed in. And also, since we have that property defined in this component class now, it means we can use it inside the template for this component. So let's do that. Let's output this value inside the component view. So all we need to do is double curly braces like so, and then the name of the property was subtitle. And now we should see that subtitle that we pass in right here, rendered right here. And the good thing about this is if we use this component in different places on the website for different pages, now we're allowing a different subtitle on each page because we could just pass in a different string each time. And now in the browser, we can see that subtitle right here. So everything is working. Awesome.